Okay, oh, are you ready to go? Uh, airport, yep. Besides having the uh, uh, Scott's College, and Scott was the name of the guy that ran the, the, the uh, administrator down there at that time. Uh, besides that, we had about, uh, oh, three blocks. Uh, four blocks, three and a half, four blocks. South of us was the Alexander Municipal Airport for Wausau. And it didn't have very big runways or anything at that point. Now it is so big that they can handle uh, 737s coming in there and uh, 727s. And don't, don't try a 747 or anything, you're in big trouble. Anyway, that, and uh, at the time that they were running then, there were no blacktop runways, it was all grass. <coughs> okay. So, uh, we had a neighbor kid by the name of Jimmy Gillum, and Jimmy Gillum lived south of us in the house south of us, had a bright red hair, a red-headed kid. And he and I went down to the airport because the guy that ran the airport was Archie Toll, and he had a son by the name of Larry Toll. I think Larry Toll is still around. Uh, and so was his daughter, who is married to the manager of the station now, I think, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, the three of us, we got together, you know, we put, dug holes in the dirt and et cetera. And one day, as we're down there playing, uh, his dad comes out, Archie comes out, says, you guys want to ride in a plane? Oh yeah, sure, we were riding a plane. And here he's got a wick, a wickle, a wackle, uh, biplane, front seat, back seat. He says, okay, you crawl in there, crawl in the front seat, and he had taken the cushion out. No cushion. So there's a little metal step that you can step up on and hang on to the side and look out. <coughs> and Jimmy Gellum and I and Larry are all just old enough, you know, look out there. Okay, rum, 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 and he fires up the engine, and off we go. Didn't ask anybody if we could go or not. He just pile in there, kids. So he takes us around. Now he knows where I live and he knows who I am. So he decides, well, I better let uh, Ed's mother know that he's up here. Boom! He takes a pass at the house. Boom! And on the third pass, uh, my mother, your grandma, gets an idea of something's going on, I better go out and check. And she walks down, and on the fourth pass, he just passes over the house nice, tips a little bit, so she looks up, there's Jimmy Gillum and his red hair. Edward's up there. Oh. So, about that point, it's pretty close to noon. <coughs> and your grandpa went to work every day around eight o'clock, come home for lunch at noon. And we kids had better be there, otherwise we were in deep, deep doo-doo. So uh, Archie Toll lands the plane, and as I'm getting ready to get out of it, I look and uh oh here comes uh, here comes grandpa, here did grandpa's my dad's car. He got a little Ford. And he comes put put putting up to the airport parking lot. Yeah, I'm really going to catch it now. And Jimmy Gillum and I pile out of the car, and uh, your grandpa says, "Were you up there?" Yeah. How do you like it? Oh, we like it real good. Okay, get in the car. It's, it's lunchtime. Never said anything else. Just go home, have lunch. That was it. First ride. Phew. Uh, he got big, just a big bang out of it as I did. Uh, then there were other times that he had uh, people he knew from uh, Montgomery Ward. They had their own private plane flying in there. A guy by the name of, uh, uh, I don't know, was it the Ryan plane? It was a closed plane. So I got a ride in that. And lots of history in, in that airport and with Archie Toll. Uh, leap forward up to uh, World War II, and I was in the service in August of 1945. Yeah, August 1945. Or, no, 46, 46. Uh -huh. When is it 45? Uh -huh. uh, uh, 1946. 
<coughs> Archie is uh, giving rides, you know, he's charging for rides and et cetera. Uh, and one, uh, Sunday afternoon, on a Sunday afternoon, comes back, lets his passengers out, and he's going to take it up for one more whirl. And he takes off, and he go, he's going to do a barrel roll, and it went patouch. And that was the end of Archie Toll. Was he in the biplane when he did that? Yeah, yeah. And that, uh, that was only one out of almost every guy that flew out of Wausau Airport uh, got uh, smashed or got killed flying. <coughs> no, I got back up on that. There's a guy by the name of Cliff Ludwig. He and a buddy of his lived down at the airport. They set up a little uh, area for them to live in, and they had a concession stand. And with the concession stand, they made enough money to take a, an Ironica airplane, uh, they owned an Ironica airplane, and this thing is one, one passenger. <coughs> they could squeeze two in if somebody sat behind the pilot. And this buddy of his, they do this, and they, uh, they're they doing okay, they're selling you know, stuff down on Saturdays and Sundays. So then they would develop, we're gonna do some parachute jumping. Lovely. Next thing you know, they, uh, this is again in the 30s, so going backward, uh, in the 30s, they uh, flying around and they, uh, they're flying over Eagle River and they're gonna have a uh, parachute jump at Eagle River. And uh, the partner who was in the back end, he hops out and do, 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 down he comes in the lake and he drowned because he couldn't get out of the parachute. So that was the end of him. Then Cliff finally wound up uh, going into the Air Force and he was a fighter pilot for a while and wound up stationed in Australia. <coughs> He's riding a motorcycle in Australia. <laughs> Creamed himself there. That's so three of them. You know, and, uh, the prior one though was a uh, I can't remember his name. He was a uh, he was a friend of Archie Tolles and all the other people who were flying there. Uh, <coughs> but he had joined the Air Force in the 30s. And he wound up as a major in the Air Force uh, flying uh, the old B-2 bombers. These were the first ones where the, the guy sat out in the front and the pilot was behind. And he flew one of those into Wausau one day. And boy, uh, I, I had pictures of him uh, with that plane. And I know where the pictures are now, but I can't get my hands on them. Anyway, uh, <coughs> he flew just too many flights with the Air Force. And uh, I think this was, yeah, this was just before World War II. Boom. He cry, uh, put in the, so they had the funeral for him at Wausau, and the, uh, uh, they had three uh, biplanes who flew over the, uh, uh, over the, uh, over the uh, procession as they took him down to the, put him in the cemetery. Well, <coughs> lucky to have it, Dick rode with one of them. Uh, they were all closed. Uh, closed cockpit biplanes, and Dick rode with them, and they're going round and round and round, and Dick is getting sicker and sicker. <laughs> when they came down, they had the fumigate the whole damn place, <laughs> all three of them. You know, everybody throwing up, and it took the kids along, uh, and that wasn't too good. Dick didn't say too much about that, but. Uh, <laughs>